Listed. Now you're not seeing any symbology here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's, let's add in a symbol. So what we've got in this particular setup here is we've got these point groups. And if we look at the all points point group, you will notice, well, first of all, let's look at the properties of it. We've got a couple of things turned on by default. We've got the overrides turned on. So I'm going to turn those off. And then you can see, now you can see I've got some points that showed up. So then I've got the option to come in under properties and I'm going to move all points basically to the bottom of the list. And now I can start looking at some of the symbology of the points. So as you can see here, I've got a bunch of traffic arrows. So if I pick this arrow here, it brings up my, my tool tip. Now for these arrows, I know what my rotation is going to be. So I'm going to turn off that, that quick property here. It'll make this a little easier. I'm just going to hover, hover over that grip. And I'm going to rotate the marker. And I'm just going to rotate the marker so that it goes in the right orientation. You'll notice that there's labels on these. So I can also come in here and we can toggle those off. And I'll show you that in a minute. But I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to use this. And I'm just going to rotate my symbols. Now I know these are being rotated in this direction. That's the direction I want them to go. Um, other figures or other points, I want um, I want to align to the orientation that my drawing is going to be. Okay. So I could rotate around here, but since I want to rotate and, and change some others, I want to kind of define what my my view is going to be next. So I could come in here and, and do a D view twist on this, but there's a new feature I want to show you and it's set up on our sheet. So I'm going to go over to my layout tab and, and we have a predefined sheet in here with a title block and a viewport. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a zoom extents first of all to get our drawing into our view. And then I'm going to go back out to my model tab here. And I want to orient this line so that it's straight up and down. We've got this north arrow here. And on this north arrow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in. And if I select that north arrow, I can rotate this into which direction I want it to go. So I know that I need to rotate it this way. So if I click on this and select that you'll see that it's going to go in and it's going to change my viewport and now it's changed the orientation for me so that north arrow is tied to the rotation angle of our view. 